Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at another example of conditional probability. So let's say that Jack and Jill have finished conducting taste tests with 100 adults from their neighborhood. They found that 60 of them could correctly identify tap water. The data is displayed below. So we want to calculate some probabilities using the data in the table. So we want to find the probability first that a participant was male given that they correctly identified the tap water. So writing that out, that would be the probability of male given that they correctly identified the tap water. So a couple different ways we can do that. We can use our formula that says this would be the probability of a particip be participant being male and correctly identifying divided by the probability of correctly identifying. But also that would be the same thing if we're given a table of the number of male who correctly identified divided by the number who correctly identified. So using that idea, looking at our table, the number of male participants that correctly identified the tap water is 21. And the total number that correctly identified the tap water is 60. So reducing that, that would be 7 over 20. Or if we wanted a decimal approximation for that, that would be 0 0.35 or about 35% is the probability that a participant was male given that they correctly identified the tap water. Okay, great, looking at another example. Find the probability that a participant correctly identified the tap water given that they are male. So now we're flipping the conditional around. We wanna know what is the probability that a contestant correctly identified the tap water given that they were male. So this would be the probability of correctly identifying and being male divided by the probability of being male. So if we check this out, the numerators of our two are the same but notice that our denominators are different, so we can expect to get a different result. So here, this would be the number that correctly identified and were male over the number that are male. So our number that correctly and ident identified and were male is again, same from last time, that is 21 divided by, now we're looking at the total who were male. So now we're looking over here, our total male participants uh, was 35. So reducing that, we get, let's see, reducing by seven, we can get three over five, or using a decimal approximation, that would be 0 0.6. So this example helps us illustrate the point that conditional probabilities do not necessarily work the same way if we switch them around. So here the probability of being male given that the water was correctly identified is not the same as the probability the water was correctly identified given that the participant is male. Alright guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.